Hey, how's it going? I have some Star Trek memorabilia that I'm looking to sell. Awesome. This is a phaser. OK. And this would be a communicator. Then I have a script, first draft from the voyage home. And this is a Tribble. Um, all right. <laughs> I came to the pawn shop today to sell my Star Trek collection of props. I've watched all the movies, I've watched the television show, but I'm not a collector of memorabilia, so I thought that I would come in today and see if I can make some money. Where'd you get this stuff? A friend of mine had a garage sale, and I was like, you can't sell this. This is worth something. This is Star Trek. All of this definitely looked to be exactly like props used in the television series. So you're telling me Captain Kirk could have held this taser himself? It's a phaser, chum, not a taser. He very well could have held that phaser himself. OK, so what I have here is a communicator. This is what Captain Kirk would use. That's pretty cool, big hoss. OK. And then I have a script, a first draft Star Trek script from The Voyage Home. And this Tribble is from the episode Trouble with Tribble. And they had a bunch of them multiplying on the ship, causing all kinds of havoc. Star Trek is like a religion for some people. It started off as a groundbreaking TV show in the 60s, and it's had something like six spin-off TV shows, a dozen movies, and God knows how many books. OK, so do we have anything guaranteeing the authenticity of this stuff? Well, I did some research on the internet where some have been sold. They have some pictures online that I looked at. And these definitely looks very authentic. So what do you think the value of it is? The communicator was valued at about 2000 the phaser, 1000 the triple, 1000 And the script was, I would guess, about 800 <sighs> OK, well, I got some bad news for you. You can take these and do whatever you want with them, because I have never had any type of luck with movie scripts. I've okay. lost money on every one I've ever bought. But on the other hand, I just bought a whole car full of Star Trek stuff. Wow. And I'm doing really well with it. So this stuff is really interesting to me. Great. Um, do you mind if I have a buddy of mine come down and check it out? He knows all about this stuff. He can tell me if they're authentic, stuff okay. like that. OK, great. I've personally never really been into this stuff, but I'm a businessman, and I know Trekkies pay crazy money for stuff associated with the franchise. So it's definitely worth getting checked out. Check this stuff out. Wow. Got some Star Trek stuff, man. Cool. I people have always been obsessed with outer space in the future, and I think that Star Trek gives people a window to what could possibly be in the future. All right, man. Well, what she's telling me is that they're not toys. They're actually props. OK. How to tell the difference, I don't know. That's why I called in you. OK, cool, cool. So how did you come across these items? Well, I bought them from a friend at a garage sale. She had them all in a box. And, I mean, was there any connection to any actor, anybody that, that no. she had purchased no. these from? No, mm -mm. OK. As far as the communicator goes, I mean, they only made 11 for the original series. There's some imperfections in the paint and just some of the materials that I'm seeing, it just doesn't look like it's prop used in the original series here. The phaser, this is a molded piece, looks to be hand painted. A toy would have been in lighter weight uh, plastic, it would have been screwed together. I mean, everything's looking really good with this as far as a movie prop. That's great. Let me take a look at the Tribble. All the materials and everything looks to be like what you would see as far as a prop goes. It's a great piece. So Johnny, can you tell me, without any uncertainty, were these actually used in the show? Everything looks authentic, but without being able to tie it back to anybody, I can't say 100% that these were used in the filming of the original series. So what would you say they're worth as they sit? Even as a prop replica, these pieces still have value. You could easily get anywhere from seven, 800 for the three pieces. OK. Wow. Better than nothing. Thanks, man. All right. Take care, man. <laughs> Have a good one. Right. See you later. Thank you. So if we could actually prove there are real props from the series, we'd be talking about a lot of money. Since there's no way to prove it, and when I sell them, I actually got to call them replica props, I'm only going to offer you around 300 bucks. Well. I think that I could get eight if I tried to sell them on my own to a Trekkie. So I think I'm going to stick with eight. Um, 
I'll come up to four. You're gonna have to meet me somewhere in the middle. I can't just buy them from eight and sell them for eight. I've gotta make some money. How about to save me some trouble, five? 500? I'll do that. Okay, thank Joan, you. you. Up. It's certainly not the $4,800 I was hoping for, but it's more than the $50 that I paid for it. I'm happy with it, but I think they'll get a lot more than $800 out of it.